All right, what's going on, people? Welcome back into another video. Today's video is going to be about teasers. For who? For Tigran. Yes, I call him Tigran when it's supposed to be Tiberius. Please excuse me on that. It doesn't matter. It's the same character. You know what I'm talking about. But our boy here, T Tiberius, right? Tigran. Um, some of you may be thinking, I we already know how he looks like. What the hell do you need the teasers for? Well, the teasers are not for his appearance. The teasers are actually for his lore. So there you have it. It's for his lore. Now the pictures, of course, that are being shown is not a part of his trailer or anything like that. There, but there are arts, as arts for the cards, which is actually pretty cool. Not gonna lie, we're gonna be able to see some of the art that uh, Evil Mojo has given us about uh, Tiberius. And on the first picture, that was, I believe, yesterday, uh, we have flying whales. Where did that came from? I'm guessing that came from Siege of Ascension Speak. If you're new to this game and you probably don't know what I'm talking about, you know that map, Ascension Speak? Well, that's the map of Genos, also sort of related to Buck, but now it's connected to Tiberius. Also, that map came when Khan was released, because Khan went there to try to tell Genos, hey, you're working for us now, and he was like, no, I'm not, sorry. Uh, and it stayed like that. But now we got Tiberius, and Tiberius apparently is going up there, taking a ride on these whales, and I'm gonna be honest, that's badass. GG on that. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Now there's a title for the picture, and it says the following. You've traveled the world in search of a worthy opponent, in search of a new weapon to master. Uh, this is kind of stupid. It says that he wants to fight, but at the same time he also wants to master more weapons. Okay, so he's constantly on the fighting. He's like a Jackie Chan for Paladins at this point, because, you know, he's gonna master every single different thing that he can, and he's gonna be fighting everybody and fighting all the different opponents. He's still gonna win every single time. Yeah, and also he's some sort of a martial art. So, you know, Jackie Chan, you know. Not being racist here, apology if, I, if it looks like that. There's so let's go into the second picture. The second picture shows him, basically with his chakrams, and he has no eyeballs. Or at least he has eyeballs, but just doesn't have pupils. That's... that's beautiful. That's... that's awesome. Now, again, the text for this picture says the following. It started when you were just a kid. You mastered the chakrams of our people, but that only left you wanting more. Now, the first time I read this, I was like, what the hell? Is Evil Mojo actually dumb? Why would they actually spell kid as kit? Can't you actually check the goddamn text before you put a tweet off? And apparently, no, I'm the one being dumb here, because when they say kit, it's coming from kitten, you know? Little kitty, kitten, kit. Apparently it's a short for that. I was like, what? Why couldn't you just put that? But since I'm not Native American or English or British or whatever it is, I, you know, there's these terms that I don't know of. But even so, basically they're saying that he started off ever since he was a kid. Now. One tiny little thing that I want to point out, apparently one of the devs has confirmed that uh, he's not related to Maeve. So, although he's almost in the same sort of breed or whatever it is, he's not actually Maeve's father, okay? Don't, don't, get, don't get it wrong. Um, I mean, I wouldn't be wrong against it, like, it, it would be a guy, actually good story, you know? Hey, my daddy is here, and he throws daggers or chakrams or what the hell, or whatever it is, just like me. And guess what? He probably doesn't have to reload either. Ah, oh, awesome. He's also gonna be double jumping, apparently, on his ult, which is really awesome. And I've already seen some people actually, you know, uh, comparing him to the Kellogg's Tiger. That's, that's, that's kinda, you know, I guess. It's, it's, it's interesting. I like it. Now, I'm still not 100% sure of all the abilities. Apparently, as ultimate, you're going to be able to use a melee attack. You're going to be able to double jump. You have five different attacks to do. Almost like, you know, have Andrew has four attacks. Uh, he's sort of like in the same spot. I'm guessing that if you don't use all of the attacks in a limited time, you're going to be able to have an ult charge. And of course, he's going to have, um, I believe, the sword. He's going to be able to throw it and then pull it back after a time or whenever he pleases it will go through enemies and like it lodges on the walls and the grounds whatever it is and um and he has his chakrams which the funny thing is they actually bounce so pretty much like sigma wait uh, maybe i shouldn't compare it to overwatch no nah, it's not like sigma it's just it's unique it's it's new it's unique it's awesome but even so like even even jokes aside uh the character looks pretty damn dope the thing is, he's a damage, and I was actually expecting him to be a flank, since I am a flank main, 
means that I basically, what I do is I go after every single character, even if they're not flanks, and I flank with them, which is weird for some people, the concept, you know, I play Ceres, I flank, which is weird, but with the movement and the, the damage and the different ways to play with him, I'm guessing I'm gonna try to main him a little bit. Now, I already know that everybody's gonna be able to, like, is gonna be saying, oh, he's a new champ, and I'm gonna main him. Everybody always says that. Everybody always says that, people. Come on, don't don't be that guy, all right? Main him after you played with him. If you tested him, you like, oh, wow, he actually has a good kit. I'm gonna play him. Don't just play him because it looks cool. That that's not that's not okay. Okay, don't don't do that, please. Um, but seriously, I'm really eager to know what everything about this champion. He's probably gonna be having more teasers tomorrow and after tomorrow. Or maybe I'll join them up together in one video instead of just doing one video every single day. Um, some people already accused me of doing that just for the money. Okay, sure, whatever. Or I'm sorry, is it coming out of your fucking pocket? It's not, then shut the fuck up. Thank you very much, let's continue. Um, next Wednesday, so I believe it's day four. Let me just confirm really quick. Yeah, day four. Day 4 of December, that's when the showcase is going to be. Uh, right, guys, you guys already know how I'm going to do it. I'm going to be basically streaming it. You guys can join me up. I'll probably do some games before because after the stream, I'm going to have to go and edit some videos about the information because some people did miss that stream. So, uh, yeah, if you want to come a little bit sooner into my channel, we'll be watching it together, you know reacting to it together and it's gonna be a long stream apparently because there's like 50 pages of just cha changes to the season three all right so there's gonna be rank changes there's gonna be every single character is gonna have something new there's gonna be a new champion there's gonna be a community battle pass for those who don't know and there's also gonna be of course an EV skin which I didn't mention before but you, most of you already know now the, this EV skin was already teased before on the Cottontail Sarah's art. It was right there, the EV shop. Um, and there was something about Grok as well. So we may see a skin for Grok as well, but for, for now, this skin is going to go as a free reward with 200 games on competitive. For those who don't know, it's, it's confirmed already. Uh, I think it was Adonis or somebody that said that on Twitter. So... Unless they were lying to us, that's the information that you need. But that's pretty much it. Um... I'm gonna be trying to do these videos uh, about the lore and everything else like this now. You know, a little bit more loose, a little bit more, you know, just uh, for the fun, make jokes, talk, however I feel like, because I want to be as truthful as possible to this. And I know that YouTube is gonna have some changes all over the place, but screw it. Um, I'm still gonna be here if you guys support me, so... Let's continue that journey together. Thank you so much for watching. That'll be it for today. Let me know what you guys think about the Gron, Tiberius, but let me know what you think about him still. Uh, I already know that there's a lot of people who already know about his entire abilities. Don't don't bother people. I may just want the entire, you know, animations videos and so want to do a video about that. I'm not gonna do any video about that sooner than that. So we'll just wait for next Wednesday. My cat is doing noise in the background. Thank you for that cat. And thank you guys for watching. That'll be it for today. I'll see you guys on the next one. And until then, have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.